Hello, this is Steve Lentz on Option View, and today we will discuss how to use Backtrader as a data source and a backtesting tool. Source and a backtesting tool. In Option View, go to the top, click the NetView item up there, right there. Click on NetView, and you'll get this drop down item here, and just click the Backtrader. Click Backtrader, and this will bring up a box. Now, what we're talking about here is using Backtrader as a data source. Some of you were Option View trial users and you were used to the real time streaming data coming in. Okay? Well, now that you bought Option View with using the Backtrader as your data source, you don't have that data coming in anymore. So you're going to get data in the Option View. Well, you go to NetView here, click, then go to Backtrader. That brings up this box, and this is where we go to town. The date right here that comes up is automatically the yesterday's yesterday's closing date and time. Okay, it's at the close. So if you click the start button right there, if you click start, you'll then bring in data as of yesterday at the close. This is very important because now you can advance forward in time into today's and do that by clicking on the daily, let me get my little pen again. The left hand D takes you back in time. You know, if you're using it as a data source, folks, you gotta click the buttons over here and advance forward in time to today. Now, the S button brings in a half hour increments, the D advances forward an entire day. So, uh, uh, just a backing up here, Backrader will bring in data in 30 minute increments. We've saved option prices in 30 minutes during the trading day since January of 2001. Go back in time using the left hand buttons, or you can forward in time all the way up to today, roughly a half hour ago or so. So, in that sense, we're really using Backtrader as a delayed source. Here we advance forward to 10 o'clock the next day. We all new prices, and we're really running option in Backtrader mode in a constant basis, and you'll always see up here in Backtrader mode. If you want to get current prices, then you have to be in Backtrader mode. There really is no other way to do this. You've got to have that Backtrader box up with a certain date and time in it. Now, you can throughout the day then keep on clicking the S button on the right side, advance forward a half hour, and routinely advance the time, okay, and you'll get a 20 to 30 minute delayed data format there. Okay, and then of course at the end of the day, you're going to want to, uh, you know, update your asset files all together. And how to do that at the end of the day, go up here to NetView, click Update Set File. And you'll bring a screen where you can then make sure you're going to update all the files that are on your quotes display and all the options behind them. Update all your price chart files as well. You click the Go button, and all files will get updated. What if you want to go back in time and backtest strategies using Backtrader? Or how to do that? Okay. What you do is first create a test account a test account. And what you do is you click Info, up this screen, click New Account, then up this screen, and can name a brand new account that you want to uh, create and uh, uh, click the OK button, and then it will prompt you for how much money you want to start out, and then you're going to have to fill in the interest rates here. Probably want to go in and make sure that the commission schedule is accurate. But once you've created a new account, you're all set to go. What you do is come up here to Backtrader and go back in time. Here we went back about a week or so. Back in time, bring up a matrix. Let's bring up the Russell matrix. And uh, we can input a trade and convert it. We can convert. We'll convert it to an existing position, and now we have a real trade on as of January 8th in this particular case. 
okay, and is going into this test account number five button up here. And we can then monitor that trade as we advance forward in time in BackTrader. Advance forward five days to the close of the 13th, and we can see that that butterfly would have made $300. Okay. At time, we could, of course, propose closing the position. Let's just, in the trade field, propose closing the position. Invert trade, the trade gets closed, and this is what your T log would then look like. T logs up here. And you can see we're now building a track record, give our certain strategy that we're testing in this case, just a simple butterfly like this. Okay. You can have several testing accounts to test your strategies. I've created numerous test accounts to test various strategies that you can see, and I'd encourage you to do the same. Backtrader is a tremendously powerful tool, not only as a current source, today's data in 20 to 30 minute format. Uh, you can also use Backtrader to test strategies uh, to your heart's content and, uh, uh, you know, hopefully add to your trading success. Hopefully, it's been helpful. I'm Steve Lenz with OptionView. Good luck using Backtrader as your data source and backtesting tool.